710 ESPN Seattle presents Bob and Graz's One More Thing. Powered by the law offices of Heidi Hunt. Fearless Friday picks. Do you feel me coming, Rockstar? I can feel Do you. you feel me clawing after you? I mean, I, I had hit the low point last week. Before last week, I was 9 and 10 overall. Yeah, you had a 1 and 3 a week. I was getting know. destroyed, uh, way behind. Bounce back in fine fashion, despite the fact you're wearing two different shoes. <laughs> At one point during the week, but he's taking those shots because he's, he's fearing <laughs> me now. Even though at 15-8, and eight, you still hold a two-game lead, a relatively comfortable lead. So. Yeah, I'd be a hell of a tout in Vegas, wouldn't I? It wouldn't be bad. You'd be, you know what, if you've been betting on your tout, you've been making money. Yeah, but I'm not doing that. You don't want me to figure that out for you, do you? No, that would be no. a real problem. No, it's not. All right, let's get, let's get to it. Uh, right. The biggest spread on our list is the Washington... Stanford game that has stayed pretty much the same. It was open at 20, went 21, it's now back for 20 points. Stanford a 20-point favorite over Washington at Stanford. I'm taking Washington to cover that. I think it's going to be a shootout. I don't think they win. I would love it if they did win. Uh, but I think they're going to stay within 20 in that game, especially since Stanford, I think, lost their starting safety. Yep. They've, got some, they've got some injury concerns out there defensively, and we've seen the one consistent thing with Washington has been their offense. They've been very good. Uh, defense, you've had some questions, and it could be a question in this game, but I think Stanford not going to cover that. Husk, uh, the Huskies will stay within 20. I think this Wash Stanford's defense is not that good. They haven't been challenged like the way Washington and Keith Price is going to challenge them. I do think Andrew Luck's going to have a big game. He's finally getting the, the big stage, but I think Price is too. I don't think at the end of the day Washington's going to be able to make the stops. I, I kind of see Stanford probably going up by more than 20 in this game, but Washington, kind of like they did with Nebraska. They don't quit. Keith Price plays hard. I think they play hard, play it out, and uh, I agree with you. I think that'll be closer than a 20-point game. Now, the rest of them are much tougher. You've got the mighty Cougars of Washington State coming to the clink, uh, where their well-liquored-up fan base, yes, yeah, uh, 7.30 start time for crying out loud, uh, will be taking on Oregon State. They are a two-and-a-half-point favorite against Oregon State. Oh, I'll take the Cougars to cover that easily. I think their, their offense has been pretty good this year. They've been very good at times. I think Oregon State stinks. I think this is a big game for the Cougars. It's at the clink, as you said. I think there'll be 50-plus thousand people there cheering them on. I, I think that's an easy cover for the Cougars. I do, too, and I need to find a few to disagree with you on because there's no way I can't catch it if we keep picking the same thing. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and for the same reason. I have nothing to add. I mean, exactly, precisely. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, let's talk about the pros. Well, should we do? Should we do the? Yeah, let's, let's go to the, let's go to the pros. Let's go with the, our uh, Seattle Seahawks. They are a three-point underdog in Cleveland. I'm saying they're going to win. I think they're going to win the game outright, which obviously means they cover. So I'm going to take the Seahawks. I think they're, despite Charlie Whitehurst starting, I don't. I think it's a lateral move. I don't think that it's a drop off. I think they should win. I don't think the Browns are very good. I think they're terrible at running the ball. First of all. Colt McCoy is going to give that secondary a lot of opportunities to come up with turnovers. I don't know if they will, but I think ultimately the Seahawks are a better team than the Browns right now. As a kid, I grew up in Akron, Ohio, going to Cleveland Brown games and the mistake by the lake. And I saw them win a few and I saw them lose a few. Seahawks are bringing a backup quarterback in. They're a 2-3 and three team. Cleveland's a 2-3 and three team in, in desperate straits. And i got to pick something different anyway. So I'm going to say Cleveland's going to win the game and they're going to cover all right. All right. And then our wild card. I guess you could be North Turner because he's really the more in shape of the two. And actually, didn't, <laughs> didn't Golden Tate tell me he thought I looked like Rex Ryan? He did Wasn't say that. Wasn't Golden yeah. Tate who said that? So we'll go with Jets San Diego. And uh, the Jets are a two and a half point favorite uh, against is that San on Diego. The road? Yeah. I don't like that at all. I'll take San Diego. I'll take San Diego to win that one outright. I think they've gotten off to a much faster start. I don't. I don't I'm not sure why the spread is that way, but Vegas tends to know what they're doing. I have been less than impressed with the Jets. Remarkably inconsistent. They have moments where they look good. Sanchez looks good at times. He looks putrid other times. I'm taking San Diego on that one. I am too. I think the Jets are overrated. I mean, whatever they're doing now, it's wrong. And, and I just don't see them playing well the rest of that. I mean, this is a team I thought could play in the Super Bowl this year. And I don't see it. I don't see them winning that division anymore or even being competitive in it. It's, I, I think maybe the number's the way it is because they have to win, but... I don't see it, so we disagree on one. Uh, good luck, and, and you know, this is not for betting purposes, of course. 